Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about leptin resistance and osteoporosis. So there's definitely a link, often we haven't heard of this link, as to our bone density and how it's so important that we fix leptin resistance if this is something that, you know, is a problem for us and we unknowingly have developed osteoporosis and a poor bone density because of the leptin resistance. So leptin is a hormone, again, I I've got a bunch of videos on leptin resistance, but just as a quick recap, it's a hormone that's given off by our fat cells that sends signals to our brain as to our state. If we are okay in terms of our energy and fat stores, or do we need to go and find more food for survival? And unfortunately, the brain loses this proper signaling of the, that leptin, and it's something called leptin resistance. So that when the brain, the hypothalamus, is no longer getting that signal of leptin, then it causes a whole cascade of hormonal upset in our body. And that high leptin, which is not being uptaken by the brain tissue, can be a problem in terms of our osteo calcin function, and this is how it's related to osteoporosis. So leptin resistance blocks the osteocalcin, and osteocalcin is in our bones, and it's produced by the osteoblast cells in our bones. And what osteocalcin is famous for is this is what actually binds the calcium to our bones. So we know that we need a lot of calcium to have strong bones and teeth. Well, it's the osteocalcin's job to take that calcium and make sure that it is binding to the bone. So when we don't have that proper leptin signaling and we have the leptin resistance, then that is not going to happen appropriately. And this is why it is definitely a causative factor having leptin resistance in osteoporosis. And here we see normal bone that has, you know, that great calcium, what happens with osteoporosis process is we get a weakening of that bone matrix, that calcium isn't bound properly, and they become weak and brittle. So yes, this is absolutely preventable, but we've got to fix that leptin resistance. So I have tips on how to fix your leptin resistance, so you don't have to worry about that. You can check out that video. They're really important that we understand the root cause. As a naturopath, I always look at the root cause as to why we have this imbalance, and the truth is a lot of practitioners actually, whether it's mainstream medicine or even in holistic medicine, they simply don't know this correlation between bone health and the leptin resistance. So something that maybe you have learned a little bit more than your even your doctors. So this is, you know, food for thought and just do your due diligence and learn as much as you can as to why the body gets out of balance. And that's what I'm all about to help to point you in the right direction in, in terms of how the body is working. Okay, now another thing that osteocalcin does is it actually helps to increase our insulin production. So this is interesting because we know that leptin resistance is also correlated with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome and the development of diabetes. So Again, it is related and is multifactorial as to how that's happening. Again, stemming from that leptin resistance. Osteocalcin also helps with testosterone levels. So this is another interesting factor for both men and women. So we know testosterone we need for proper, you know, sex drive as well as proper formation of sperm in men, but also testosterone helps with our metabolism and the burning of fat. We know that the guys, when they go on a diet, they lose that weight so much more quickly than women because they have higher testosterone levels. So again, interesting that, you know, that weight gain and relationship to leptin resistance is also can be partially related to the testosterone and stemming back to the osteocalcin as well. So osteocalcin also helps to improve our brain function. So this is important for our feel good hormones. So things like dopamine and serotonin levels and osteocalcin also affects our muscle strength. So so when osteocalcin levels are off and it's blocked because of the leptin resistance, then unfortunately muscle strength declines. We know that sarcopenia or the loss of muscle mass as we age is, you know, it's an important thing that we really have to take a look at. Prevention is always better than cure. Maintaining healthy muscles is important for not only our longevity, but to also prevent falls and future hospitalizations and, you know, saving us from, you know, things that 
we don't want to happen, as, especially as we're aging. So there you have it. I talked about leptin resistance as it's related to osteoporosis and that connection, which a lot of people simply don't realize. So I hope that you learned something new. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Please be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate all those likes that you send my way. It really does make my day as well as making sure that you're subscribed. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you are subscribed and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell. So you always get my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and to do it naturally. Thanks for watching today. Thank you.